Sussex fans have expressed their outrage after a royal-themed float at the Mardi Gras festival in New Orleans seemingly mocked Prince Harry and Meghan Markle. The Duke and Duchess of Sussex were depicted alongside other royals on the float taking part in a parade through New Orleans as part of the annual Mardi Gras celebrations, which are taking place this year for the first time in two years. The prince was depicted coming out of a toilet at the front of the float while wife Meghan was shown wearing a sash that reads Windsor Winer. Pictures of toilet troll titled Morning Flush and Daily Pale accompanied caricatures of other royals on the float, which was titled Royal Throne, seemingly parodying the British press coverage of the Sussexes. The Queen was also pictured reading a newspaper with a front page dedicated to Harry and Meg. Prince Harry's father Prince Charles was pictured with a speech bubble reading Find Your Camilla in a reference to the royal's affair with his wife, the Duchess of Cornwall, while he was married to the late Princess Diana. Meghan was painted holding a suitcase bearing USA and Canada badges, alluding to the couple's move to the US in 2020 when they announced their decision to step back from royal duties. Kinsey Schofield, a US-based journalist covering the royals, tweeted, Yowza! Themed Mardi Gras float from the Crew Day Tar Parade last night. Each coming out of a toilet and then wearing a sash that reads, Wins a whiner. Another user chimed in, Oh dear, is their popularity in the US going down the toilet? Another questioned, But aren't they adored in America? One user tweeted, LOL. You know you've truly made it in America when you have a parade float decorated in your honor. Congrats to the happy couple. The images of the float emerged just hours before the Sussexes were awarded the NAACP President's Award on Saturday night for their humanitarian work and distinguished public service. The couple, who live in Montecito, California with their children Archie, two, and 10-month-old Lilibet, were awarded for their work helping a Texas women's shelter, promoting vaccine equity and creating community relief centers with World Central Kitchen. Taking to the stage to receive the award, the Duchess of Sussex said, It's inspiring to think about the legacy of the Image Awards, which began shortly after the Civil Rights Act of 1964 and the Voting Rights Act of 1965 were passed into law. Today, we can continue that legacy by re-establishing federal voting protections in our country and fulfilling the work of civil rights giants, like the late John Lewis. We are so deeply humbled to be here in the company of so many illustrious awardees. Taking over from his wife, Prince Harry thanked the NAACP for the award. The Duke of Sussex said, I also echo the immense gratitude for tonight, both for this award and this community for welcoming me so warmly. I think it's safe to say that I come from a very different background from my incredible wife, yet our lives were brought together for a reason. One Twitter user wrote, Meanwhile in the US, their images are on a float ridiculing them, yes, that's Harry popping out of a toilet, huge, well-known Mardi Gras parade in New Orleans where it is extremely diverse, so please don't say it's a race thing.